Hey, what's happening, everybody? We're gonna. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I know about the uh, side load channel two launcher, and we can get that in my file linked. Uh, do 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 do. And the file linked is six four zero six six zero two two. And I put it in my uh, miscellaneous section here. Everything's in alphabetical order. Media centers, right after media centers, miscellaneous section. And I got side load channel 2. And I got side load channel original one. So you just hit the download arrow and then it'll turn into a play icon. Hit the play icon for install. And so we will open it up here. Oops. Where's that? It's not what that's. that's not the one. That's side load channel. Side load channel 2. And I already added those four rows just to play around with it. So, but this is all that it shows. And then I changed the background off. So I'll show you how to do that. But all that you'll have is add row. And it'll be, it'll have a little custom background if you don't have any backgrounds. But I just use Google Chrome find some images and I make a folder of all my images that I want to use for backgrounds and stuff. So anyway we'll jump right into it. I'm going to add a row we're going to, I'm going to name this one uh, tools uh, image I'm gonna pick a. You can. There's included images. You can go through all those or application icons. You can choose for this one. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, the tile height. I like them smaller, but you can adjust here. So. I'm I'm putting all mine at 120 for now, and then if you want spacing in between the tiles, you can align it from left, center, or right, and then you can also either have the image and logo, the logo and the name, or you can hide it. I've been hiding mine. See, so it'll it won't show this APK stores tools, Cody forks, it won't show that if you hide it. So we'll just start adding some. Go down to the plus, add application. And I've been using these big ones. You can use, you know, whatever image or pick your own image. But I've just been using these bigger block style. I like those. Application, tools, eight of sixty four. Application, analytic. Then you can kind of see how I have the lighter, the same colored kind of background for the icons if they're not full banner. So just, you know, however you want. Like I said, you could do custom tiles or widgets, whatever you want. Where are we at? Um, DNS changer. Use a full, full one for that. Application. Do you 
recorder is a good tool. Application. So you can see how quick and easy it is. We'll even throw our files in there. Even though I have two file managers, but screen rotation, I have it to start on auto boot, so SD made. And anywhere is an awesome tool guys if you don't have this in your arsenal you need to get it that's in my store also in the tools section but that send anywhere it's it goes across all platforms you can do windows you can do uh, android android tv where do i want here this one and i got plenty of videos on how to make your own shortcut icons also if you want to really customize and personalize it up. Is that all the... Yep, that's all I got right now for tools. And then once you get done, you can uh, save your channel. That This will add it to your Android TV home. Close the admin and then that's what it looks like. Like I said, you can you can uh, center these rows. Like you can push them. Like here, I'll show you. Open admin row. We'll do uh, Cody Forks. Edit row. Align row. We'll put that in the center. Save it. Now we'll see what that looks like. Now see how that pushed it into the center here. So we'll go ahead, open admin row. Edit row. We'll try what see what center looks like there. And we'll see what center looks like here. <laughs> and we can also move the rows so this one move row try that Move bro. We'll try that. So we want to center that paid TV one, right? Edit row. Let's center this one. There. That looks nice. So now you go into app settings. This first column right up here, you can change your image. Uh, like I said, I have a whole folder of NVIDIA images. And I rename them to try to describe what they are. I added some new ones down here, so um, green square, green smoke. 
I'm going to try this graffiti one. And then just go down. It's done. Yeah. But yeah, just find your pictures and So yeah, guys, you can customize it all you want and then you can also the guys from uh the Watt Nvidia YouTube channel, they're really they're really exploring this really good and they know a lot more about it. So I'll I'm going to put a link to their YouTube channel to jump on there because they they've got tons of videos on really how to tweak it and they've helped me out a ton also so if you want to explore some more options there and they're constantly looking into it and constantly making tutorial videos about stuff so uh, what else we got oh there's also a matrix one I wanted to try I just downloaded too where did that go? Did it not save? So yeah guys, get creative and uh... Yeah, I find that matrix one. Maybe it didn't save when I renamed it. What's this one? No. Hope I didn't delete it. But yeah, just when you download your images, make sure you look view them and then and then rename them. I must have deleted that. So if you want something simple and plain, and you can change the clock also in the app settings. right down here clock format digital default rounded square that's nice and yeah I don't know export application select default launcher import and export configuration so yeah you can see if we can uh yeah, I'm not even gonna mess with that we'll have to watch the watt channel YouTube channel for that and then if you ever want to uh change your launchers here's a, here's how you do it you go into your oops that's app drawer go into your Android settings whatever launcher you're set for default like right now I'm on hand Android TV Home Launcher and that's in the system apps. So you'll find Android TV Home, click on it. And then you see how it says clear default, some default set. That means it's set. If you ever push always on any app, that'll set it default. So you just go in that app and clear defaults. So now when I push my home button, it's going to ask me what app I want for my home screen so now I can choose side low channel I'm gonna click the home button again and I'm gonna click always so now anytime you hit your home button it's always gonna be on Android T on a uh, side low channel 2 or whatever you set it as I don't like that background let's do one, try one more What 
was that red and blue? So there we go, guys. All right. So that's a little bit about, like I said, all. If I discover any more good stuff, I'll I'll make more uh more videos on it. But I just wanted to let you know where ha where to get it and and the, how slick and easy it is. And if you want your titles back, you can do that also. Where are we at? So, and just after you uh, add or or remove tiles, save it. So we can like show. So I'll show you that. I think I did that paid paid TV row see so now how it says paid TV and shows your little icon there so if you want to label the rows and have it have them all look like that but I don't like I just edit row we're going to hide it So there we go. But now I'm going to show you Android settings, apps, sideload channel 2. We're going to clear defaults. We're going to hit our home button. I'm going to make Android TV home, my home. And now we can go and customize our channels. And for side low channel, you can add or whatever channels you create in the side low channel or side low channel 2, you can add them to your home page, your Android TV home page. So you can shut off everything else. except play next and then you can oops then you can move up and down your channels that you created if you like to use the, if you just like to use those side low channels to, to create channels for your Android TV home screen, but for me, I like to use the third-party launchers. Slick and easy enough, guys. All right, that's it. Peace out and happy streaming.